Hello, everybody. So right over there is Mr. Ford Bossney. He's working on that Shelby uh, GT500 right there. But uh, what I'm here for, well, first of all, I came, I came to see him. But I'm filming this a day after he put out a pretty nice and long video with all the stuff that he's doing for this signature L. And now I filmed this car before. Uh, this is where actually three of us, so Rich, myself, and my buddy Nathan, we went out and we tried. Actually, Nathan was just looking, you know, to buy a new, well, new to him, town car. But at the time, it didn't work out. I think the price was an issue and the condition was probably even more. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice it last time. Uh, was an issue. But now, uh, this car is at the dealership here and it's still being worked on a little bit but now that I am <laughs> first of all it's not super cold I remember last time when I when I was filming this car uh, it was super cold this is like one of the coldest days and three of us was freezing our, our butts off in Chicago area so now I'm you know indoors it's much it's much uh, nicer weather and now I can kind of film this car in detail. Now, I'm not going to go through all the mechanical stuff that's wrong with it, simply because if you want to watch that sort of stuff, you know, watch uh, Rich's channel, Ford Bosney, which I will put it in the description. And, and I will specifically be posting this much later than, this, than the video that he posted, you know, simply because... I don't want you guys to see, you know, too, too close to one another because by the time you guys see it, it's probably December now. And let's see, what is this that I don't step on? Okay, a little cover. So I'm just going to put it right here. And um, by the time you're seeing this, I'm guessing it's December. There you go, I've got my, my bright light on. And uh, I'm filming this in the middle of August, so. All right, so what do we have here? He, I don't know, is the, is the juice on? Oh, okay, so the battery, the battery is hooked up. Okay, so what can I tell you this? So sitting in this seat, yeah, it's not it's not too bad. I'll I'll show it to you when I when I exit, but yep, it's the good old-fashioned signature L without the sunroof. I mean, no surprise there. It's rare to find these things with sunroof. But it is black. Yep, okay. There you are. Yeah, really bright white. It's in, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, keep in mind I am just doing the internal <laughs> kind of uh, external overviews. I don't do all the mechanical stuff. That's Rich's stuff. But, you know, overall, yeah, I mean, uh, seat seat is kind of it's, it's kind of tight but once again he covered it on, on his video but overall I mean you got a few things here and there but this is pretty rare that it has this this nav system in it and uh, let's see what else we got all right it looks like some velcro it looks like I don't know is this for the uh, satellite radio stuff now this is a customer's car so I'm gonna try to respect and not going into like uh, you know the little cubby holes and stuff but okay, a little wear and tear here. I'm not sure what happened there. It looks like something got burned inside of it. But th but this thing was detailed, so I can I can see you know much nicer, my much nicer outline of, of vacuuming. All right, heated seats. Now obviously the biggest uh, sale factor uh, factor for for these things is that that good old fashioned longer wheelbase. But you know that doesn't translate to the front. I mean I'm sitting all the way back. And I mean, I am comfortable, but at the same time, I'm not having any more or less space that, than I would be having if it wasn't an L. All right, so the oil change, 95, look, back back in January, 95,000 miles. So it's a pretty low mileage. All right, so we know that. All right, let's go back out. Let's kind of show you the seat. Yeah, I mean, the seat is not too badly sunk in. You know, it, it, it has enough support for sure. Yeah, this is like the same type of corrosion that's on my car. So I thought maybe it was uh, super glue or Gorilla Glue, but I guess not. All right, now let's look at the stuff that... <laughs> oh, wow, it's interesting how this is just tacked on like this. No, this is how it usually is. All right, let's check this out. So here we go, guys. I know I filmed this car before, but in a different state. Um, the good old-fashioned L in all of its glory. Now, I know there's a bunch of, oh, look at that. It still even has the little clippity things from when it was probably all clipped together from the factory. Oh. So let's see, all right. 
So sitting in the L, yes, I know. Tons of room, tons of space all over the place. I think this is what Rich used for the new car smell. Yeah, definitely shows. All right, let's see. Yep. I don't know if I if oh well, okay. I don't know if I explored these things when, when we were uh looking at this car, you know, for a potential sale, but I didn't I didn't even realize that this has like the same padding material as on the roof. Okay, so it kind of blends in. And you had the little adjustments here. It does smell nice. I gotta give it that. There's the little lights here. So everything does work. And I don't know if I ever explore this. Yeah, it's it's nice and new. Now I don't, you know, because we uh, we filmed it originally um, when it was super cold, so I didn't smell any smoke per se. But uh, you know, apparently maybe it smelled like more like a mildew stuff. So here we go. You got the the good old fashioned controls. I'm sorry for the light. Maybe if I let's see, nope, not that. Maybe if I tone it down a bit. All right, so you get the volume. You have the next. So I do like the little clickety clickety buttons, of course. The little tissue holder which I, from what I understand a lot of people are having a hard time finding a tissue box that would actually fit in there uh, so from what I understand as of filming of this it this this thing does not not work so like this little control panel which is lifted right out of the steering wheel of the older generation town cars it, it it's not functional and then this too so Rich said that he will take a look at it got the little push button controls here with two power outputs and a little mat here, so that's nice. And I don't know if these power outlets work. Mm, okay, a little foam pad there. Now, a lot of the phones from cell phones from this era may not even fit here if, if they're thick. But at least it's nice they give you this option. All right, and then it kind of lifts up, and you can't really tell much. Now, here is my thought here. Let me turn it up a little. Now, here are my thoughts on the whole Signature L. I know they are dreamy. I know they have these fancier cup holders, which I, I don't know what's the difference if you have them here or there, but I understand the whole allure. You have much longer leg room. I get all that. You have heated seats in the back. I think out of the all the stuff that you get with the L, you know, like this, I don't care about this. <laughs> More leg room, yes, I do care, but I'm, I'm on record saying I wish that the normal town cars were... Um, uh, you know, they had more room. Maybe not that much, but maybe a little bit more, but hey, you know, it is what it is. The heated seat function is probably the only one that I would really want to have, but at the same time, no, you know, I think this doesn't work, to be honest with you. Like it, it, I don't know. Anyway, and then these headrests, right? Like, I don't really care. <laughs> Right, like if this does this or that, I'm not, I'm not really dying for it. Now this one I think does have that as extra speaker because of that navigation system. So as far as the whole L is concerned, I am not like drooling over these things. Uh, I would be drooling over the 25th anniversary edition or the designer series edition. Um, I know they don't have the heated seats, but if I had to pick one option out of this whole stuff, this whole car, right, I would pick the heated seats on a standard wheelbase and I would be totally fine. Uh, yeah, like the longer door stuff. Because, and, and the reason for that is I guess it's because of my, you know, it's just because of my whole idea of how I operate these cars. I am generally by myself and I am not really carrying anybody and I don't have really a need for, you know, to have more space. But overall, I mean, this car is beautiful. I mean, black on black, you can't go wrong. You got, you know, classic lines. You do have the, the gold packages, which once again, I. It's nice, I mean, but it also has the same type of corrosion in, in the inside like mine does. You know, it technically has the same type of rust like mine had. It has these things like mine had, and I wonder if you tap on the... Eh, it has a little bit of stuff. Yeah, but overall, I mean, I love these cars, but I wouldn't go too crazy. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy or go out of my way to, to get the L versus some of the other stuff that I, that I do feel you know, would suit me better 
All right, so for all the mechanical stuff, I will link a video that Ford boss me did. He goes into very much more details as far as what's, you know, what he did with it mechanically and what, how he went about approaching it. This is just an overview of, you know, when I think of this car, I think of this car as like an old buddy. You know, I've seen this old buddy back in like, I don't know, January or February and haven't seen him since or her since. Um, and, you know, it's a nice revisit. And then whatever the owner of this car decides to do, you know, keep it, sell it, whatever, restore it. That'll be it. All right, everybody. And there's Mr. Ford Bossley at his, at his finest, does what he does best. So, all right, everybody. We'll see you.